One of the main questions that has arisen before President Trump's second impeachment trial, is it even constitutional to hold this trial? A former UConn law professor spoke to Fox 61's Dave Puglisi about the legality of it. The single article of impeachment will be submitted against former President Donald Trump for high crimes and misdemeanors against the state. Well, the facts are pretty straightforward. There is debate over whether or not the trial is constitutional. The law experts say there is no reason why the trial shouldn't move forward. There's nothing in the text of the Constitution that prevents this. Retired law professor Richard Kay believes that Congress is in their rights to move forward with the impeachment trial of former President Donald Trump. Although Trump has left office, impeachment isn't only to remove a sitting president. It can also be used to prevent someone from ever holding office again. The likely motive has precedents dating back to before our nation's forefathers wrote the U.S. Constitution. One of the most famous impeachment cases, the impeachment of war, and Hastings in the 18th century. So that's something that the people who wrote the Constitution knew about, and there's no reason to think that they were excluding that possibility when they put the language uh, that we have in the Constitution. Parties in the Senate have agreed to start the trial on February 9th and believe it could move faster than Trump's first impeachment trial. Kay believes it could move quick. So that the facts are kind of out on the table. There's not an awful lot to argue about. Um, with regard to who did what when, they could argue that the language that the president used didn't amount to incitement or that he had no intention of inciting uh, when he gave that speech. But that's not going to take a long time. Senators will be sworn in on Tuesday to hear the case. Whether or not political bias will play a role in their decision making remains to be determined. This is a political process from start to finish, and it's idle to think that we're going to have a jury that is utterly unbiased. Dave Puglisi, Fox 61 News.